Hi students, welcome to the platform of eGurukul. So myself, I'm Dr. Ramya Sri. I teach obstetrics and gynecology. I have come up with the most needed video. So many students message me that it's very difficult for you to remember the staging. So I have come with a solution for that. I have made a beautiful mnemonic how to remember cancer ovary staging. And the best part is we are going to put it in the YouTube for all of you so that you can also utilize this video how to remember the cancer ovary staging. Definitely after this you will tell I cannot forget the cancer ovary staging. Right? Any, any staging of cancers, please remember that the basic funda is stage 1 will be confined to that organ. Stage 2 will go to adjacent organs. Stage 3 will go to lymph nodes. Stage 4 is distendments. Matlab in exam if they in case ask you at least grossly by this you should be in a position to answer. Okay. So stage 1 will be confined to that organ. Stage 2 will go to the adjacent organs. Stage 3 is lymph nodes. Stage 4 is distendments. Okay. So now we are going to see Cancer ovary staging according to the FIGO. In a very very simple manner. So all the. So the mnemonic which I made for this is. Yeah it has a lot of rhythm. Okay. So it is A B C dub mash. Now you have insta. Yeah? Earlier there was dub mash actually. A, B, C, dub mash, intra, extra, poda. See in south, in Tamil, poda means go away, right? So A, B, C, dub mash, intra, extra, poda. Okay. So A, B, C, dub mash is for stage 1. Intra is stage 2, extra is stage 3, poda is stage 4. So ABC dub mash is stage 1, intra is stage 2, extra is stage 3, poda is stage 4. Okay. So let us see each one of it, each one of this. So first regarding the stage 1, first regarding the stage 1, so in stage 1 I told you that we will remember it by ABC dub mash, right. So and I also told you the basic funda for first staging, stage 1 will be confined to that organ. So here ovary is the organ. So stage 1 will be confined to ovary. So stage 1 is confined to ovary. One A is confined to one ovary. One A confined to one ovary. 1B, B for both. So 1B is confined to both ovaries. Once 1C, so 1C is, see 1A it is confined to A is o, one ovary. 1B, B for both ovaries. But both in 1A and 1B, capsule is intact guys. So confined to one ovary with capsule intact. Actually ovarian cancer and fallopian tube is same. But here I am specifying only with the respect to ovary. One more very important point is they have identified that type 2 ovarian cancers are arising from the Type 2 ovarian cancer arising from the fallopian tube epithelium. So that is why salpingectomy, bilateral salpingectomy is protective for ovarian cancer. Okay, right. 
so one a is confined to one ovary with capsule intact one b is confined to both ovaries with capsule intact so we what was the mnemonic which we, which we have made for this a b c dub mash a b c dub mash right so c stands for dub mash c will stand for dub mash right one c confined to one or both ovaries confined to one or both ovaries with breach in the capsule with breach in the capsule so c may capsule is ruptured with breach in capsule so how did the capsule rupture and when did the capsule rupture we have c1 c2 c3 we have c1 c2 c3 so c1 is capsule ruptured capsule ruptured during surgery so c1 is capsule ruptured during surgery so du during so c1 is capsule rupture during surgery c2 is capsule rupture before surgery c2 is capsule rupture before surgery so you can remember it as dub du b du b c dub ka du is capsule rupture p is before m m a s h of the mash is malignant cells in the ascites so c3 is malignant cells in the ascites positive c3 is malignant cells in ascites positive so that is the mash that is the mash okay so this is regarding the abc dub mash so abc dub mash so a is confined to one ovary b is confined to both ovaries c is confined to one or both ovaries with breach in the capsule so we have c1 c2 c3 so c1 is capsule rupture during surgery c2 is capsule rupture before surgery c3 is malignant cells in the ascites positive c3 is malignant cells in the ascites positive okay so that stands for dub mash okay so what was our second second uh, abc dub mash i hope you are all clear right so it was confined to ovary only but in c capsule is ruptured and for that i we remember it with dub mash so c1 is capsule rupture du during surgery c2 is capsule rupture b before surgery c3 is malignant mash malignant cells in the ascites positive right now what is the second stage for second stage i told you to remember intra and i told you that second stage will go to the most nearest organ so nearest to the ovary and fallopian tube is uterus so second stage is uterus and second stage is mainly into the intra pelvic second stage is mainly into the intra pelvic so second stage stage 2 is intra pelvic 2a implants on uterus 
to be other intrapelvic structures involved to be other intrapelvic structures involved so 2a is implants on the uterus 2b is other intrapelvic structures so bowel bladder all that will come under 2b itself normally for cervical cancer and uh, endometrial cancer bowel and bladder are fourth stage 4a but here other intrapelvic structure means inside the pelvis so in front of the pelvis in front of the uterus you have the bladder so bladder will come under 2b behind you have the rectum so rectum will come under 2b okay third stage is extra third stage is extra pelvic and what is the mode of spread of ovarian cancer the mode of spread of ovarian cancer is transcelomic the mode of spread of ovarian cancer is transcelomic so it mainly spreads through peritoneum so third stage is peritoneal implants so extra pelvic peritoneal implants okay so stage 3 is extra pelvic so in stage 3 we have 3a1 which is retro peritoneal lymph node so this mainly includes your paraaortic lymph nodes and pelvic lymph nodes so retro peritoneal lymph nodes so 3a1 is retro peritoneal lymph nodes 3a1 is retro peritoneal lymph nodes and in that you have numerical 1 and numerical 2 numerical 1 is less than 10 mm numerical 2 is more than 10 mm right so depending on the size again you have numerical 1 and numerical 2 so 3a1 is retro peritoneal lymph node numerical 1 is less than 10 mm numerical 2 is more than 10 mm 3a2 i told you 3 is everything about the extra pelvic so it is first 3a2 is cho2 microscopic microscopic extra pelvic peritoneal implants 3b b for big so b for big macroscopic extra pelvic peritoneal implants okay b for big macroscopic extra pelvic peritoneal implant of less than 2 cm 3c is macroscopic extra pelvic peritoneal implants basically it is all about peritoneal implants in third stage first cho2 3a2 is micro 3b b for big macro less than 2 cm 3c is macro extra pelvic peritoneal implants of more than 2 cm another thing which is extra in 3c is it also includes capsule of liver and spleen it also includes capsule of liver and spleen okay next 4 so what was the mnemonic for fourth stage so for fourth stage i told you to remember four da right so 4a is per pleural effusion with positive cytology pleural effusion with positive cytology 4b for da the distant mets so this includes parenchyma of liver and spleen superficial lingual lymph nodes so all the distant mets will come under 4b all the distant mets will come under 4b so that is uh, peritoneal uh, sorry parenchyma of liver and spleen superficial inguinal lymph nodes so that will come under 4b so this is the simple way of remembering the ovarian cancer i once again repeat our mnemonic was abc dub mash intra extra foda right so in abc dub mash a confined to one ovary b both ovaries are involved c capsule is breached 
how do i remember regarding the capsule breach dub mash so du c1 is capsule rupture during surgery c2 b dub b so capsule rupture before surgery c3 mash malignant cells in the ascites positive right second stage is intra intra pelvic so 2a is uterine implants 2b is 2p is other intra pelvic structures next stage 3 is extra pelvic stage 3 is extra pelvic so stage 3 you have 3a1 retroperitoneal lymph nodes 3a2 microscopic extra pelvic peritoneal implants basically it is all peritoneal implants 3b big peritoneal implants of less than 2 cm 3c big peritoneal implants of more than 2 cm with C for capsule of liver and spleen. 4. Poda. P. Plural effusion and positive cytology. B. Distant meds. Thank you guys. I hope you all liked and enjoyed the mnemonic. And this will print the ovarian cancer changing in your brain. So I will be coming up with more and more videos like this. For your benefit. Keep, keep telling me what are the topics which you want to hear from me. Which, I, which you want me to simplify it more further for your better score in your exam. I'll always there to help you all. So thank you.